All right, everyone. Well, welcome back to Nails by Sora. Hope you're all doing well. Um, forgive me if I don't seem to know what's coming next with this video because I recorded it a little over two weeks ago and I've since been on vacation. I am now back, but um, I did not record. Um, I did not narrate while I was doing it, so I have to try to recall what I did for this video so I can let you know what I'm doing in this video. So I did flash the colors that I'm using on the screen. I do not remember. I think it's eight of blue is the background color. She's one of the new colors from Madame Glam for last month, August. I believe it was August. Um, and the other one is one of the tiny magnetic gels that I used in my last manicure, which I am wearing in this video. It is um, an orange tone and it's got a little bit of like, I want to say like a taupey undertone to it um, or maybe just a different tone of orange. But I'm doing a challenge for uh, Blue Rose Nail Talk as I usually do. It's uh, one of the only groups that I'm... A, um, a member of in Facebook and um, whose channel I also follow on YouTube and I love it because it's really a great community of people that just love to talk um, all things nails and there's bingo challenges and everything and pro uh, giveaways so once a week she does these nail car challenges and I this one really spoke to me I was really excited about it so I'm doing a Zodiac theme using the magnetic gels. And I just, I love watching the video playback of the magnetics uh, particles reacting to the magnet. I was having a bit of trouble getting it to play the way I wanted. You can see I've got magnets uh, stuck to each other underneath and a magnet on top. And I was kind of just trying to get like a celestial theme going on, seeing as how I was doing a or I did do a zodiac uh, slash celestial theme to the nails. So basically, I used the grayish blue as a base coat. I put the magnetic gel on top, which is semi transparent, and then I magnetized it uh, once I got a pattern that I liked. And then I did it with all the nails, trying to get some just you know randomization on the pattern. Uh, not, I didn't want it the same on each nail. I wanted it to kind of look like a celestial night sky. And then I went over it with, um, I don't remember the name of the black. I want to say reality check. That may not be it. Uh, but I will let you, I'll put it down in the description box below. And I may show it on the screen if I haven't already. Uh, but it's a semi-transparent black to kind of go over the the blue and the magnetic orange to give it that depth of field and then i believe i go over it again with another coat of the magnetic gel and then magnetize it again so it's four layers for the background before i go in and do the design on each nail which i use um the madame glam chrome gel paints in silver and gold So as you can see, I use the magnets in many different ways. You can use them uh, two at a time on either side of the nail. You can band them together uh, so that they create patterns. But I tried using the charger for my iPhone to see if that was strong enough of a magnet. And it really, it had a bit of effect on it, but nothing really uh, tremendous. So I just went back to the regular uh, cat eye uh, magnets. And... It's really all about playing with it until you get the pattern that you like. And it took me quite a while, as you could see, to get one that I really liked. But in the end, I got there. And in a moment, you will see all five nails together before I go in and put on the designs. Thank you. 
Now, my initial idea for these nails was to have the sun uh, take up three of the nails, having the main components of the sun in the center, and then having the rays coming out all around it and bleeding over onto the other two nails side by side. But I didn't really like the way it looked, so I wiped it off and I ended up restarting and just having the sun as the center focus of the center nail. And then I have one nail with the phases of the moon and then two other nails with facing crescents and one with a north star. So it's pretty straightforward. I'm just using the gold gel paint to create the outlines of the rays. And in hindsight, I kind of feel like I should have filled in the sun with the chrome paint because I did fill in the moons with the silver. And I feel like the sun almost looks incomplete. But as a series as a whole, or as a set rather, I think it comes across very well. I love the way the background turned out. Almost wish that it was a full set just with the background design because the, the way the orange reflects off of the light and um, you get the you don't really get the blue behind, but I really just wanted it for depth so that you have something behind the black. I didn't want to do full on, a full on black nail. And I think it just really does look like a celestial night sky and has a really great effect all 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 on its own if i can string my words together but i'm filling in half of the rays with the gold and then i'm going to come back in later and fill in the other half with the uh the gem color the magnetic uh gel paint and i'll flash the magnet wand on it to get the pigments to come to the top. So now I'm going in with some black gel paint just to not outline, but to kind of um, further highlight the gold, make it pop a little bit more because against the orange background, you really can't see it from a certain angle. And I wanted the eyes in particular to really pop and stand out. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to do that with all the other nails as well.
The rest of these nails are pretty straightforward. I'm just going to use the silver gel paint to go and create the phases of the moon, starting with the, um, um, what is it called? Full moon. Starting with the full moon in the center and then doing the waxing and waning moons going up and down. I did, I played with the idea of having constellations throughout the rest of the nails. I only really did it on this nail because I thought it made the rest of the nails look too busy. But I, th I think it came out really well on this nail. And then as I did with the sun, I'm going to use the black gel paint to go in and further accent the moons and create uh, kind of like this pockmarked surface of the moon for the full moon in the center.
So I'm just going to let the rest of this video play out. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm using a few different brushes. This is the mini baby, uh, the little baby blender from uh, Nails by Dev. And I'm alternating between this one and a long liner and then sometimes using a dotting tool. I like the dotting tool because it allows me to lay down patterns a little bit more easily. And then, especially if they're circular, because the dotting tool is a circle, obviously. Um, and it just makes it easier to then go and extrapolate the design from there. So this is just a half moon with a face. And I went in and I did the moon first. And now I'm just pulling out the, the nose and the mouth. And then I'll put in the, some of the features and go on from there. So I will pop in if I feel like there's something I need to further explain. Otherwise, I will see you at the wrap up.
So a quick shout out to this little thumb ring palette. It doesn't belong in it on any specific thumb. It's just easiest to place it there because it's closest to me. Um, but I love it because it makes I can make sure that the palette never goes near the lamp. I have a habit of putting my the lamp is right in front of me as I work, and I'm too impatient to wait for one nail to fully cure before I move on to the next nail. So I try to keep the palette as far away from the lamp as possible, but it's still getting some of those rays. And I wind up with cured gel polish on my palettes. So now I've got two palettes that I can't really use because they've got cured gel on it. So I got these ring palettes. You can find them on Amazon. I will link them down below. But they're great because they stay on my hand. I can easily keep my hand away from the lamp and I don't have to worry about curing the gel polish on my palette.
So I'm going in with Crazy Top now, which is a potted gel top coat. Um, when I first started doing nails, I saw this all over the place in all of the Asian um, nail videos. They used Crazy Top. And when I was making my most recent purchase from Zillabo, which the video will go up soon. Um, I'm trying to cons consolidate all of my hauls into one video because I don't like posting lots of haul videos. I think they clutter my channel. I'd rather be really about nail design versus nail products. So I will go over it in the video that's coming up, but it's a potted, like I said, a potted uh, gel top coat. It is so shiny. I love it. It's a little bit thicker in viscosity, so it's really great for encapsulating glitters and uh and whatnot so i will link that down below but the video with it will be coming soon all right well that's gonna do it I hope you like the way this set turned out. As it turns out, I forgot I did continue constellations on the other nails. I thought I had only done it on the first nail, but it turns out I did it on all five. And I think it came out brilliantly. I hope you agree. If you have any comments or questions, please put them down in the description box below. All the products will be, or in the comment section below, all the products will be in the description box below, and I will see you soon.